Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to Something to Wrestle With, Bruce Pritchard. I'm pumped. It's going to be a fun week. We have already had a lot of fun this week over at adfreeshows.com. If you haven't already, you got to go check it out, and specifically, be sure to check out the My World podcast feed. It's called My World with Jeff Jarrett. It's available everywhere you enjoy podcasts. And boy, we are up and running in a big way. Episode one was all about holding up Vince McMahon. We got some really great reviews on that episode. Episode two, also available now for free everywhere you enjoy podcasts is where we talk about being fired on national TV and what Jeff was thinking at the time. And of course, context is king as Eric Bischoff always says. So we tell you the story leading up to that fateful last nitro, but maybe the most important episode we've ever done. It comes out this Tuesday. It's all about Owen Hart. Jeff Jarrett has never really told his side of the story and you're going to get it. And it is emotional. Uh, I, I told Jeff when we finished recording, man, that wasn't a podcast. That was an experience. I, uh, I felt like I needed a drink and he told me he felt like he needed a nap. Uh, it was therapeutic. It was something else. You've got to go check it out. It's available now at adfreeshows.com. Of course you get all of our shows early in ad free over there. But you can also hear it everywhere you enjoy podcasts this Tuesday. I also wanted to mention that the dark side of the podcast has returned. Uh, by the time you're hearing this, we have just finished recording episode two, all about Nick Gage. Now, if you haven't already, you need to know that Thursday night on Vice is your home for all things dark side of the ring. Last week was Brian Pillman. Last night was Nick Gage. And the very next day after those episodes air, You can catch dark side of the podcast also on the, my world feed. And coincidentally enough, the nature boy himself gave me a call this week and said, Conrad, I got some things on my mind. Can you send me a link and us click record and up it went, we called it the Ric Flair pop-up show and, uh, it's not a regular thing. It's not a permanent podcast, but he just wanted to talk, man. I guess he had been doing a, a bunch of publicity and he wanted to get sort of into the weeds about all things wrestling. So we clicked record. Uh, the video for that is over at adfreeshows.com, but you can hear the audio right now for free. Also on the, my world podcast feed and what a tremendous list of topics we've had this week. If you haven't already, I can't recommend that you give the Arn show another look. We've sort of hit the reset button. We spent a lot of time talking about his time behind the scenes as an agent for the WWE. So we caught up on more modern WWE from 2010 and 2015. Well, we decided to just go back to the very beginning. Uh, episode one of our reset was called growing up Arn, And you hear about the man behind the character and how he had a strained relationship, if you will, with his parents and what his grandparents meant to him. And then how eventually he found professional wrestling. It's a pretty interesting human story, uh, less uh, gaga and less ha ha, as we like to say here on something to wrestle and really heavy on the man behind the man. So check it out. If you haven't already, uh, this Saturday, so tomorrow morning at six Oh five, we have a tremendous episode that we've named Pensacola with Pee Wee. When uh, we see our buddy, Marty Lundy. AKA Arn Anderson, get his first break in professional wrestling with bullet Bob Armstrong's territory. So if you're a big territory guy, boy, you are going to love Arn Anderson's new format. It's Saturdays at six Oh five. Just look for Arn anywhere. You enjoy podcasts. We've also got a brand new episode that's in the can. That's going to be dropping early and ad free. Of course, over at adfreeshows.com. But the gist is about finding the bill Watts territory. How did he first come to work for Watts? What was he learning now that he was on the road for real? Uh, because we've always heard, boy, there was such a thing as, you know, making towns. And then there was working for bill Watts. You were putting thousands of miles on your car every single week. And we talk about that in great detail, breaking down all the different towns, all the different buildings, all the different opponents, and what it was like to learn to live on the road. So it's uh, it's different than probably any other wrestling podcast you've ever heard. You also know that as a rule, we don't really do guests on my shows, but we do guests over on the Kurt Angle show. And we just had quite the guest in Randy Orton. Uh, so Randy Orton, who almost never does interviews, sort of out of character, you get to hear from the man behind the character. That's over on the Kurt Angle show. It aired last Sunday. This Sunday, we're talking about Judgment Day 2006. And uh, we've got a lot of other great stuff in the can, including 
the first episode of June, which is going to be up at adfreeshows.com before you know it is all about his pal, David Schultz. If you don't know that story and you don't know about the Fox catcher situation, wow, it's, uh, it's not your typical wrestling podcast. It's a tribute to a great man who had a tragic ending. We're not going to talk about a lot of murders on my podcast here, but this is a real life movie type situation and it's over on the Kurt angle show. I also wanted to mention grilling. Jr. has been a hot topic these days because somehow, some way we found Jr.'s old radio clips. That's right. Remember when he used to have a show in Atlanta, it was WSB. It was a monster station. So even though it was based in Atlanta, you could hear it in like over a dozen States, just a power signal. Anyway, he had guests on there from Paul Heyman to Bobby Heenan to Randy Savage and everyone in between. And we found the tape. And it's so cool to go back and listen to that in, in a nostalgia format week by week. We're dropping new episodes over at adfreeshows.com. It's been so fun to discover. I also wanted to mention, we've got some really cool stuff coming up. If you haven't already heard it all about 2001 in the WWF with, uh, with JR, we covered judgment day 2001, but then we also cover that very famous tag match, perhaps the most famous tag match in raw history. We're stone cold teams with triple H and they dropped the tag straps to Benoit and Jericho. And of course you remember that's where triple H tore his quad. Uh, that's up over at adfreeshows.com. And of course, all things, 1986 is still the format for Tony Schiavone. Uh, I believe it is the golden era of Jim Crockett promotions. Certainly the biggest, their business had ever been the rock and roll express are on absolute fire. Jim Cornette is in rare form. Dusty's off and running. Ric Flair is styling and profiling. The four horsemen are really starting to, uh, become a real thing in professional wrestling. And we're having a lot of fun watching it week by week. And we've introduced a lot of our listeners, myself included to new favorites like Shaska Watley. Uh, so check that out. And of course, who could forget Eric Bischoff, boy, this is going to be a special year for that show. It's the 25th anniversary of the NWO. So this coming Monday, uh, we're doing an ask Eric anything for more than two hours, but then next week we're going to do a watch along of the famous nitro where Scott Hall came down the stands. It's the very first two hour nitro. It's a very special episode, but we'll also have Eric watch the Monday night raw that was head to head with that show. We really do believe that context is King. And we wanted to make sure that we put both episodes on the same feed at the same time, and we could compare how wrestling was about to change. I really do believe there was a then, and then there was a now, and then something changed at all. So you're going to get to see sort of the last nitro before things started to change. Uh, and at the same time, just for context, the raw that aired the exact same week. So we're going to have a lot of fun on the podcast this year, and, uh, it all happens right now, early and ad free at adfreeshows.com. Today's topic was supposed to be about Dr. Death with Bruce. Uh, but as you can imagine, these pay-per-view weeks are incredibly challenging for Bruce. So we didn't get a chance to click record, but we will be back on Tuesday covering all things. Dr. Death, a peek behind the curtain. I'm out of town this weekend. Uh, so he would have been able to record on, uh, Saturday, but I will be in Atlanta. Uh, for a graduation party. So I won't be able to do that, but he will be back and at his desk the morning after Monday night raw. And we're going to click record on all things. Dr. Death this Tuesday, uh, we're not going to make you wait until next Friday. We're going to go ahead and drop it right then. And at some point we're going to try to squeeze out part two of Kevin Nash. And we're so excited about that because I think Kevin Nash has one of the best WWF stories around. I mean, you look at what he was doing in WCW from Oz and Vinny Vegas, and now he becomes diesel and becomes world champ and becomes a power broker really in the business with the whole click situation. And then he leaves for that quote unquote sting money and the business is never quite the same. So we love talking about Kevin Nash and you're going to get Kevin Nash part two. Uh, the plan is to drop that next Friday. Uh, so we're going to try to load up as much as we can this next week for something to wrestle. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.